Welcome to our very first World of Equine News. We here at Speaking of Horses are glad to bring you this program. We're going to bring you monthly programs where you're going to be able to tap in here and find out what's going on in the world of equines, horses, donkeys, mules, whatever. So we're glad to have you join us right here on our World of Equine News. Our first story for this month of December centers around the Women's Horse Industry Network, or WIN as it's called. They had a convention in October in Nashville, Tennessee. Very, very good convention. A lot of great networking went on, as well as they presented the Winnie Awards to some very deserving people who have done a lot to help the horse industry. Now, they have decided to have a Western Conference. It will be in Las Vegas, Nevada, February 24th and 25th of 2012. You can contact them through WIN, Women's Horse Industry Network, or that's womenshorseindustry.com to learn more about being a part of their Western Conference in Las Vegas, Nevada, coming up February 24 and 25, 2012. Our next story centers around the Colonial Spanish Horse, or what we call the Center for America's Very First Horse. You know, the center is home to the most diverse group of Colonial Spanish Horses in the eastern United States, along with preserving and educating people about this historic breed. Our programs there focus on natural horsemanship, viewing the horse and human relationship from a holistic perspective with honors, and it looks at the intelligence of the horse and gives it all due respect. Their famous quote from their director, Stephanie Lockhart, is, people's lives transform when they build a relationship with these horses. They receive amazing gifts and lessons from these horses. You know, they also have a program where children come in for an after-school program and they bubble over with excitement as they scramble out of cars and run into that center for America's first horse. Giggling, they race up to the fences. You know, they can pet the horses. Uh, Ringo and Thunder are there most of the time. And other welcoming colonial Spanish horses come up and meet these kids as well. They yank their boots. They get a halter, they lead, they groom, they ride, they even ride bareback, and, and they leave with a calm, smiling, confident uh, demeanor about these kids. You know, their dreams are fulfilled every day that they come to see these colonial Spanish horses at the Center for America's First Horse. They're a nonprofit organization, they do some great things. You know, these horses go back almost 500 years in America. There are less than 3,000 colonial Spanish horses in the United States or in the world, and often they're referred to as Spanish Mustangs. Now, the Center for America's First Horse is home to one of the largest and most diverse groups in the East, and they'd love to talk to you. You can contact them at centerforamericasfirsthorse.org. Now, we'll be back in just a couple of moments with reports from the CHA, Certified Horsemanship Association, and dressage from the Gold Coast in Florida. We'll be right back. Humane manufacturing mats reduce bedding costs. They cushion animals' joints and muscles. Mats will not absorb moisture and animal fluids. You know, all of our recycled rubber mats and rubber floor products are made using only the best of the best, clean, green, and recycled. Antibacterial and antifungal agents are added during the manufacturing process. Guaranteed not to curl or buckle as you see here. Rubber mats use the lock tough system. Use humane manufacturing stall mats for all of your needs. Gooseberry Natural Feed was created to provide healthy products, basic nutrition, and enhance the digestive system and process in all equines. Gooseberry has certified organic ingredients for a total health feed. To learn more about Gooseberry Natural Feed, contact them at gooseberrynaturalfeed.net. Welcome back to the World of Equines Report. We're glad to have you back with us. 
Right now we're going to talk a little bit about CHA. Now CHA is a Certified Horsemanship Association and their goal is to promote excellence in safety and education for the benefit of the entire horse industry. CHA certifies instructors and trail guides, accredits equestrian facilities, provides support and educational resources. And you can get a lot of information about the CHA just going to chainstructors.com or to cha-ahse.org and get all the information. Now, they've had some additions and changes in CHA. Matter of fact, I have to interject that about uh, four or five weeks ago, I attended the CHA convention in Lexington, Kentucky, and uh, we did do some highlights and interviews with various people there, which some of those interviews will be on Speaking of Horses on the website and our cable outlets very shortly, so pay attention for those coming up as another complete show. But the Certified Horsemanship Association has new board members from Kentucky and Ohio. Terry Williams is a graduate of Otterbein College in Ohio, bachelor's degree in equine science, and also in stable management. Now, she has been a certified CHA instructor since 1985, earning a master instructor certification status in 1986. Terry currently resides in uh, Blanchester, Ohio, with daughter Sarah. Also, Dr. Coleman in Western Canada is our other board member. That is Dr. Robert Coleman from Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, in Western Canada, he's had a lifelong interest in horses, a graduate of the University of Manitoba, a bachelor's degree in agriculture, and a major in animal sciences. Now, following his degree, Dr. Coleman completed a master's of science in 1978, also from the University of Manitoba, and after graduating, worked in the Canadian feed industry as a nutritionalist for two major feed companies. He's had an extensive amount of work with CHA, and we're happy to have him also as a new board member joining the Certified Horsemanship Association. Our new board for 2012 includes our President Brent Morgan from Alabama, President-elect Ward Stutz from Amarillo, Texas, our Vice President Beth Powers from Bellefontaine, Ohio. Treasurer is Peggy Adams from Covington, Georgia. Our Secretary is Tammy Gaynor from Ohio. And the immediate past president, Tara Gamble from Alberta, Canada. Now the CHA School Horse of the Year is Chewy. They do this every year. They pick a horse that's a great instructor. Chewy is from Living Water Ranch in Fairbanks, Alaska, and he is the Horse of the Year. This also shows that the Certified Horsemanship Association has many outlets all across the United States and Canada, and they also have chapters in about six other countries besides Canada that all lead in to the CHA or Certified Horsemanship Association. Now they had finalists from South Carolina, from Fairbanks, from Steinbach, Manitoba, Verona, New York, and also Santa Rosa, California. And again, our CHA Horse of the Year for 2011 was Chewy from Living Water Ranch in Fairbanks, Alaska. And they have the Volunteer of the Year. And this Volunteer of the Year is a very important program because so many people donate so much time in helping kids and horses and instructors and everything in the CHA approved operations around the world that uh, the the volunteer that is the Volunteer of the Year is somebody very special. And this is Tammy Gaynor of Alliance, Ohio. She grew up around horses, began a professional career in 1989 as a trail guide, and went on from there. Terry is a wonder, or Tammy rather, is a wonderful, wonderful person to be Volunteer of the Year for the CHA. Also, save this date, the CHA Annual International Conference that we were just at a few weeks ago for 2012 will be October 11 to the 14. This time it's going to be held at Grand Canyon View Equestrian Center, and that is actually in Silverton, Oregon. But you can get more information of that by going to CHA. Now, we're going to take you to the world of dressage, and we are happy to tell you about Amy Swerdlin and the Scholastic Everglades Dressage Adult Amateur High School Award from the Gold Coast. Now the Gold Coast is a fling every winter in Florida where they have some tremendous competition in dressage, eventing, and the like. Amy is the winner of this Everglades Dressage Amateur High School at the Gold Coast. As a top adult amateur competitor, 
on the Wellington Show Circuit. Amy has made many trips into the winner's circle. Now, Amy was back in the spotlight during the Gold Coast Fall Fling, piloting her four-year-old Oldenburg mare Scholastica to wins at first level test one, as well as winning the adult amateur high score at the show. We want to tell you that she had some tremendous scores. Now, she also talks about how they just purchased Scholastica in 2011 at the uh, Spring Elite Auction. She went on to her first show only two weeks out of quarantine and hasn't looked back with this partner and horse since. She felt very soft in the bridle, very elastic movements, First level test can be a little difficult for her at this point, but I'm sure that she is pleased with the way this horse is performing for her. So from the world of dressage and from the Everglades Dressage Adult Amateur High Score, a part of this Gold Coast celebration, our hats off to Amy Swerdlin, who is the top amateur competitor on this circuit. Now we're going to be back in just a bit with more. We're going to talk about Roy Rogers. We're going to talk about some horse expos and the like. Stay with us. We'll be right back on the World of Equine right here. We'd like to make your dreams come true at Active Riding Trips. Whether you're an active horseman, avid horseman, or part-time horseman, you can enjoy Active Riding Trips. You can ride the Gold Rush Ride in the mountains of California near the Gold Rush Find. The hills of New England and Vermont, Virginia fox hunting, Tuscany to Ireland, and to South America. It's all there for you. You'll be treated like a king or a queen at ActiveRidingTrips.com. Get a hold of them, make your dreams come true, and make memories. Andus, professional, lightweight, versatile grooming tools for a best-in-show finish with every stroke. With Andus Power Stroke, you have a heavy-duty, high-speed, power groom for professional results every time you clip. Also, get great horse grooming tips from Dana Boyd Miller and from Andis. Check us out at Andis.com, also on Facebook and Twitter. Speaking of horses is also made possible through the courtesy of Equine Technologies. For all of your hoof treatment, hoof care, and hoof-related infectious problems, please contact Equine Technologies. Welcome back to our World of Equine report for December 2011. Now, we're looking a little bit ahead here, but you know, speaking of horses, we attend a lot of horse expos around the country, and there's two coming up, that I want, actually three, that I want to tell you about. There are the Horse World Expos. One is held in Maryland. It's in Baltimore. Actually, it's held in Timonium, which is the Maryland State Fairgrounds home, and that is on the north edge of Baltimore. And we'll be there. But speaking of horses, from January 20th, 21st, 22nd, Antimonium Horse World Expo brings you some of the best clinicians, trainers, educators, and fantastic shopping anywhere in the area. So you can come and be entertained watching various horses perform, watching breeds perform, learn about those breeds, as well as uh, get all of the education from the trainers and from the uh, speakers on nutrition and the like. Be sure and join us, speaking of Horses TV, as we are at the Horse World Expo in Baltimore, Maryland. That's actually in Timonium at the Maryland State Fairgrounds, January 20th to the 22nd of 2012. Also, in February, we will be in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Horse World Expo holds their second show there. Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, February 23rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th, 2012. Again, top trainers, great shopping. Over 400 vendors will be there that you can shop for. Tack, clothes, western furniture, English clothing, whatever your preference is, you'll find it there. Plus, there's all the horses and breeds and trainers and the like, but at Harrisburg, we have an addition, and I'm pleased to be the person who coordinates and announces their Theater Equus which we do on Friday and Saturday nights in the main Coliseum at the Farm Complex in Harrisburg. We bring you a full two hours of horses under the spotlights. We have trick horses, trick riders, all of this wonderful presentation. It is truly a Broadway theater production of horses under the spotlights, all the lighting, all the sound, all the special effects. That is a bonus at the Pennsylvania Horse World Expo. So be sure and join us there. Now, there's a new event starting up 
and it's starting up in June. It's the first week of, weekend of June, June 1, 2, and 3 of 2012. And we have, are proud to say that we just became involved in this. It's Ameriquine, that's A-M-E-R-E-Q-U-I-N-E, Ameriquine Festival of the Horse in Fort Worth, Texas. It's a new, different, and slightly different twist to the horse expos that have been around the country. It's going to be held at the Will Rogers Memorial Center in Fort Worth, and it is truly a festival of the horse. In addition, though, to showcase, showcasing high-profile clinicians, Olympic riders, Ameriquine is going to present concerts by horse-friendly, popular entertainers in the same complex currently with the clinician, so you're going to be able to have a lot of, of famous entertainers who are involved in horses. I was just reviewing a couple of them, and uh, we're going to have concerts by Riders in the Sky, if you've ever seen them. They are a fantastic Western-type music band. Emmylou Harris is going to be there. She also is involved in horses. So you will get the same thing as the horse trainers and the horse education, but you're going to get a lot of other entertainment, the musical side of it as well, all mixed into a little different program. But that is Ameriquine, and we're going to be there, speaking of horses as one of the media partners, and that's Ameriquine, and you can check them out at Ameriquine.com and learn all about this new and innovative type of horse expo with a lot of new twists and things you're really going to love. So that's Ameriquine, and that is the Festival of the Horse, June 1st to the 3rd, 2012 in Fort Worth, Texas. We want to take a moment also to remind you that November 5th, just passed, was the 100th birthday of one of our silver screen heroes, Roy Rogers. Roy would have been 100 November 5th, and we all said happy birthday to Roy, but you know, he doesn't get a lot of accolades as far as the life he lived, because even though he was a movie star and in the 40s and 50s was the king of the cowboys in the movies and on television, but Roy and Dale, his partner, led a tremendous life helping people. They adopted over 11 children. Uh, they helped them all have great lives. Uh, he was very involved in helping kids in children's hospitals and all types of children's programs. And uh, Roy was actually born in southern Ohio, down on the uh, Ohio River. Uh, near Portsmouth, and uh, was what they would call in the days back then a ridge runner. His real name was Leonard Sly, moved to California in 1930, started a singing group called the Sons of Pioneers, and uh, got his first break in like 1936 or 37, going into the movies uh, in 1939, acquired a horse through uh, Glenn Randall, the famous Hollywood horse trainer. This horse was Trigger and the rest is history, as they would say. But, you know, we really want to honor the lifestyle of both Roy Rogers and Dale Evans, but on Roy's 100th anniversary year, we say happy birthday to Roy Rogers. Now, one other event going on in December, actually it starts December 1st, runs through December 10th, 2011. If you want to make a trip to Las Vegas, this next week would be the time. The National Finals Rodeo is in Las Vegas at Thomas & Mack Arena. It does run through the 1st uh, of the first of December through the 10th. Now, the National Finals Rodeo is the culmination of all of the PRCA Rodeo Cowboys with money earnings from all the various rodeos around the country coming to Vegas to actually have kind of a playoff down to find out who the champion is in all of the different uh, disciplines of rodeo, from roping to bull riding to bronc riding and the like. Also, they have that rodeo every night as they work this down, but they also have three different events uh, where you can do a lot of cowboy Christmas shopping. They have the big event at the uh, Las Vegas Convention Center. They have another big shopping event at the Sands Convention Center. And a few years ago, they added the third event. This is at the Mandalay Bay Center. All of these are a cowboy Christmas type thing. You can go there and shop through the day. You can see a lot of horse acts. Matter of fact, uh, one of our good friends at Speaking of Horses, Mr. Tommy Turvey, who does some wonderful things with his amazing horses and the tricks and the things that he does, is going to be appearing in Mandalay Bay through the day. All of that shuts down. You go to the rodeo at night. So if you want a chance to go to Vegas and uh, be a cowboy for a week, Go do it December 1st to the 10th, the National Finals Rodeo. And we'll be back in just a moment as we cap off our first World of Equine Report. 
Woodstar Products offers custom stalls for every barn and every barn style. Woodstar offers top quality design, construction, and customer service for every stall and barn need you can come up with. Custom built for you. Design your own stall with their new system online at woodstarproducts.com. Check them out. That's Woodstar Products. Speaking of Horses is made possible by Equisentials Horse Care Products for products developed by a horse person for horse people and horse use. Please check out Equisentials Horse Products. They have all the products you need to perfectly care for your horse's coat and physical appearance and well-being. Equisentials. Well, welcome back, World of Equine News. This is our first report, and again, I want to remind you we're going to be doing these monthly. This is the December 2011 report. We'll have one every month viewable on all of our cable outlets as well as on our website, speakingofhorses.com. Now, we want to tell you about one other outlet that we have for Speaking of Horses, and that is Pegasus TV, which is a 24-7 all-horse programming network. Uh, not only do we stream on the internet through Pegasus, but we are now live on regular broadcast TV at KCBT, Bakersfield, California, KDOC in Los Angeles, KUBE in Houston, and KFRE in Fresno. And coming by the end of January, we're going to be adding Sacramento, Dallas, and Lexington, Kentucky and more coming through the Pegasus Network. So check us out, check us out on the website, or follow us right here uh, on this cable outlet that you're watching the show. Any of these avenues will lead you to speaking of horses and all of our data about horses around the world, all types, all kinds. We appreciate you joining us on this first report, our World of Horses, World of Equine report, and we're gonna be back next, one, next month with a lot more news and keep you posted on everything that's happening currently and just down the road so you can make your plans. I'm Wayne Williams, your host, and we thank you for joining us. Now, let's enjoy one of our equine singers as they finish off this equine newscast. Thank you. She talks about them, dreams about them, thinks about them all the time. She's got to have them, be lost without them. You can see it in her eyes. What is it? What is it with girls and horses? She says, now when I was a young girl, they were my whole world, they were my one safe place, and now that I'm older, still lean on their shoulders, I still feel like that girl some days, what is it, what is it with girls? Without. There's magic in the 